Chapter 6, Observant Executrix of God's Commands. The reorganization of the heavens according to Copernicus struck some individuals as suspiciously heretical. Quote, that opinion of Ipernicus, or whatever his name is, an elderly Dominican father wagged in Florence on November of 1612, appears to be against Holy Scripture. Neither Copernicus nor Galileo, however, both Catholic believers, intended any such criticism of the Bible or attack against the Church. Copernicus had, in fact, de dedicated the Revolutionibus to Pope Paul III, the pontiff who ex excommunicated King Henry VIII of England and established the Roman Inquisition. Galileo, in the course of writing the Sunspot Letters, had sought to uh, get the expert opinion of Carlo Cardinal Conti on, on the subject of change in the heavens. Cardinal Conti had assured him that the Bible did not support Aristotle's doctrine of immutability. In fact, he said, Scripture seemed to argue against it. None of his experience pairing angry attacks from academics prepared Galileo for the intimations of heresy, a crime he considered more abhorrent than death itself that now swirled around him. Given these circumstances, he must have felt relieved in October 1613 when Ottavio Cardinal Bandini, another prelate of his acquaintance, finally secured the dispensation of age for Galileo's daughters. The immediate admission of both 13-year-old Virginia and 12-year-old Livia into the nearby convent of San Mateo in Arquetri was apparently facilitated by the coincidence that the mother abbess, Sor Ludovica Vinta, was sister to a Florentine senator who had served as Secretary of State under Grand Duke Ferdinando. No sooner were the girls secured within the, enclose, within the enclosure walls than the pitch of the Copernican controversy escalated. In November, Galileo's best and most beloved student, the Benedictine monk, monk Benedetto Castelli, who had followed him from Padua, left Florence to take over Galileo's old chair of mathematics at the University of Pisa. Castelli not only had devised the safe method of observing the sun on paper used by Galileo to such good effect, but had actually drawn the numerous sunspot diagrams published in Galileo's book. Galileo had further relied on Castelli to answer all four published attacks on bodies in water. Uh, I'm cutting off mid-paragraph there.